So today I'm going to show you how to find out what font a website is using. So if, for example, you want to try it out on your own website or something like that, then you can actually use exactly what they have to, to kind of see how it looks. So um, for example, if I was on VLC's website right here and I just saw this text and really liked how it looked and I want to know exactly the, uh, the font and like the weight, if it's bold, any of that kind of stuff, then uh, this is the easiest way to figure that out. So the website to go to is fount.art-equals-work.com. I'll link you to it in the description. And they essentially just give this little JavaScript uh, button here that allows you to click on any font on a web page and find out what it is. So there's two ways to run it. Um, the first is you can just drag this into your bookmarks, and then when you click on it, it lets you click on anything in the uh, window. Or if you prefer not to use bookmarks, you can run the JavaScript code directly. So I'll first show the bookmarks option, and then I'll show how to run it directly. So um, if you just uh, go up to your uh, options here and then have it show the bookmarks, then you can just drag the bookmark button right onto there. Uh, it's pretty much the same in Firefox. And then once you go to the website that you want to check the text out of, you just click on the Fount button. And now you can click on any text, and it will show up in the top right here what text that is. So uh, for example, if I wanted to click on this one, it's Arial, size 16, PX, weight is normal, style is normal, and then the title here is a different kind. It's Railway, and you can see the size here is a lot larger, which makes sense. Um, so then if you want to actually use that font, then you can go to Google Fonts and search for it. So if I search for Arial, uh, which is the, the one in the body here, then I can uh, see that it shows up right here, and this is the same font that's, that's right here. Uh, they don't have an option here to just download it, you have to go to an external site, but uh, essentially that's just how you would uh, get the font. A lot are available just directly through Google Fonts, like any that have the plus here, you don't even need to go anywhere else for. Um, then the other option is to run it directly. So if you right click on the Fount button itself, um, and you say copy link address, if you copy that into the URL bar, you'll see that all it is is this JavaScript function. Um, Chrome and Firefox actually turned off running JavaScript in the URL bar, which is a good idea because it was a big security risk for people that didn't really know what they were doing. So you just have to go into the developer console to run it. So again, if you're on the website that you want to, uh, that you want to see the text of, I just refreshed it so now it's not letting me click on them anymore. You just need to go into the developer console, which is the same in Firefox and Chrome again. Uh, so I would just go to more tools and then developer tools. Uh, it's also, I think, control shift I brings it up. Um, then there's just this console option here in Firefox. I think it's just called uh, developer console. So then uh, you just need to copy the link that the button is, and then you go back to the developer console, hit control V, and it pastes it in, and then just hit enter. And now it lets you uh, click on any of, any of them again, and it even shows a, a history over here. So that's just, if you don't want to save it into your bookmarks, that's the alternative method for doing it.